Hey, what's cracking, everybody? Today, I'm going to take a look at uh, Endeavor OS. They just released a new ISO, and I believe they released it on the 24th of uh, November. So uh, I have it here. I got it in the virtual machine. It's already installed, so we're going to go through it and check it out. All right, so the first thing we're hit with is the uh, welcome screen. It says welcome, version 25.11.1-1. And this is their welcome screen right here. So they have general info from right here. They got the website, their wiki, their news, forum, donate, and about welcome. And then the default tab right here is the after install. So after install tasks, you can update your mirrors, update mirrors, Endeavor OS, EOS rank mirrors, update native packages, update native and AUR packages, update native and AUR packages, yay. Uh, package cleanup configuration, change display manager, change display resolution, Endeavor OS default wallpaper, choose one of the Endeavor OS wallpapers, download more Endeavor OS wallpapers, logs for troubleshooting, and select initial welcome tab. Then you have an assistant with more items, you have tips, and you have add more apps. And of course, they have a button right here, so don't show me anymore. If you click on this, it's going to say to run oh, welcome again, start a terminal and run EOS welcome enable or EOS welcome once. All right. And that was your welcome screen. Okay. So uh, this version of Endeavor is uh, called Ganymede right here. It is their uh, latest version. They just released it a couple of days ago. And we are on the Plasma desktop. So the Plasma desktop, of course, has the panel on the bottom with the system tray on the right. On your system tray, you have your peek at desktop, your date and time, your pull-up apps. And here you have notifications, display configurations, power management, setup weather report, KDE Connect, and printers. Then you have your internet connections. So if you got your Wi-Fi internet, want to get online, use that. And this right here is going to be uh, your mounted devices. You also have a screen brightness. I guess this would work more if you were like on a laptop. Then you have the volume control and you have your uh, firewall. So we can open up with the firewall. I think it's going to ask for a password. May, may not. We'll see right now. It is taking its time to uh, load up. Maybe I have to right click on it. And as right here, edit firewall settings. So we'll take a look at that. Try to connect the firewall and it does ask for your password. Give it your password and you can set up your uh, firewall. On the left side, we do have Firefox, we have console and we have Dolphin. And then of course you have your application launcher. So opening your applications launcher, you have your favorites, all applications listed in alphabetical order. Then you have development, graphics, help, internet, multimedia, office, system, and utilities. So under multimedia, you do have a MPB player and Haruna. And under internet, you do have Firefox, your KDE Connects. And under graphics, you do have a Gwenview and Ocular. So you have your basic tools for, uh, you know, your basic utilities for as far as imaging and, uh, you know, audio, video. But it'd probably be better to download something like uh, VLC. And for graphics, that's pretty much fine. And as far as Office is concerned, you know, you have LibreOffice, OpenOffice. You know, you could download any Office system that you want and uh, set it up. All right. And that's your uh, application launcher. All right, so let's go under system. See, do we have a uh, discover in here? Or probably in the utilities? Is discover anywhere on here? Let's go to all applications. A, B, C, D. No, it doesn't look like we have a discover on here. All right, so I think they're just sticking with a PAMAC. If, did I even see PAMAC on here? I don't think I even see Pamac on here. All right, well, I guess to install applications, let me see, do they have uh, any type of uh, Endeavor OS apps info? 
and the Wear OS Log Tool, and the Wear OS Quick Start Installer. Let's open this up and see what this does. All right, so you got auto audio players, browsers, communication, development tools, email, image processing, uh, math, office. So, all right, so if you want to install some apps, it looks like you can do it from here. So let's say, for example, we want to install Audacious. We'll do that. Uh, as far as browsers, if you don't like Firefox, you can always use uh, Chromium, Falcon. Do they have a... Uh, I don't see Brave on here. So let's install Chromium just for the hell of it. Mm, see images and processing. Of course, you got your GIMP. Let's go ahead and install GIMP. Uh, let's see, Office. We have Caligra, Numeric, LibreOffice. So let's just do LibreOffice. And let me see, as far as text editors, yeah, they got Mousepad and Pluma. Usually I use Pluma, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to like Mousepad also. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, install these applications. Okay, now we got to confirm, and it'll go through the installation. And while it's doing that, let's look at this uh, menu again. Let's check out the utilities. Let's see if there's anything over here that's uh, specially uh, curated. Uh, let's see. Right now we're using the uh, Endeavor OS Quick Start Installer. They do have an updater. Uh, okay. It just went straight to Office for some reason. Let's look at the uh, Info Center. All right, so this is uh, basically your uh, system settings for uh, Plasma. All right, but anyways, this is the uh, about for in, uh, Endeavor OS, and you see we are using KDE Plasma 6.5.3. It is running on Wayland, and you got your uh, relative info as far as your uh, system itself. Then under System Monitor, let's see what kind of uh, highs and lows we got here. We're only using 2.1 gigabytes on our memory. Swap is barely touched, and the CPU is uh, the CPU. Yeah, the CPU is at six point something, nine point something. Keep changing. Okay, this page is missing some sensors and will not display correctly. All right, so right here, press enter to resume. I think everything's finished installing, so we can go ahead and close this. I'm surprised they don't have Discover or the PAMAC. Maybe they do. I just don't uh, see them over here. Let me check under all applications. Yeah, I don't see add or remove software. But we just installed Chromium. We just installed Audacious. We just installed GIMP. And we got LibreOffice and Mousepad. So everything's highlighted that we installed. Did I install VLC? I don't think I did. So let's open up Audacious. Audacious is going to be a video, I mean, an audio player. So just click on File, navigate to wherever you have your music, and set it all up. And do they have an About? Just click on the file. About Audacious 4.5.1. All right, go back to All Applications. Chromium, we just downloaded Chromium. All right, it's asking for a password. If you leave it blank, it won't ask for it again. All right, and this is Chromium. Let's see about Chromium. We'll make this bigger. Version 142.0, 7444.175. All right, let's go back to all applications. We already saw Chromium. Now GIMP. And this is going to be GIMP 3.0.4, I believe, because uh, we are on Arch Linux. So it should be the latest version. But we'll just wait for this to open up, and we'll confirm. Close that. Make that bigger. And go to the About. Oh, 3.0.6. All righty. Go back to all the applications. What else do we got? 
We got, uh, we'll take a look at the office right now, but I want to take a look at mouse pad. Like I said, mouse pad has been my uh, go-to as of this last week. You know, it's just a simple text editor, nothing fancy. On the about, it is mouse pad 0.6.5. All right, let's go back over here. Let's see. Is that the last of them? Yeah, now we can check out Office. All right, so under Lever Office, you know, it's your Office, uh, the most preferred Office system you'll find on Linux. Of course, you do have Open Office and WPS and other Office programs that you can use, but more than likely, you'll find Lever Office everywhere. So right here, we can just open up a calc sheet. And this right here, we'll go ahead and uh, close that. All right, so yeah, this is your uh, Excel version on uh, Linux. So let's take a look at the uh, about. And it is LibreOffice 25.8.3.2. Okay, so yeah, let's open up a terminal. And let's see, do we have HTOP? Not H top, how about B top? B top either, huh? Okay. Pseudo. Oh no. Just top. There we go. All right, so this basically gives you all your information. It's just in a text format. So, you know, got everything on here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, close that. And we'll clear. And do we have fast fetch? Probably not. Yep. Sudo Pacman S Y fast fetch. Give it your password. Agree. Say yes. All right. Got one error right here. What is this error for? I guess one of the uh, one of the repos is given or something. This YY JSON got an error, but I wonder if it uh, actually still installed. Let's hit clear. Fast fetch. All right. So fast fetch still installed. So and got our uh, Endeavor OS virtual machine. The kernel, it's the latest kernel. Packages installed. Running Bash. KDE Plasma Desktop. All right. And everything else is pretty much uh, relevant to your system. So let me make this bigger. That way you can uh, pause the screen. And if you want to go through it all, you can. And I'm done. All right, you guys. Just wanted to check out. Uh, the latest version of Endeavor OS. Endeavor OS is one of the greater uh, systems on Arch. Uh, out of the out of the top leagues, which is going to be you know Garuda, Catchy OS, and Endeavor OS. I think Endeavor is the more uh, the more simple simple uh, layout that there is out of the bunch. I mean, Catchy OS has a uh, a lot of features, and it can. Uh, you can get confused once you go through all the features, kind of like on this one too, like me looking for a, a software manager. It was kind of confusing, but you know, you get to it. Uh, Garuda, Garuda really has a lot of, just a ton, it, it attacks you with all kinds of features. It's kind of like overwhelming. They should like tone it down a bit and just, you know, let the user run their system instead of the system running the user. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of Linux. But anyways, these are all great systems, and I enjoy them, so they're good for what they do. But anyways, I just wanted to take a you know quick quick first look at this uh, new release, Ganymede of Endeavor OS. You know, so all the new users, if you see this, you watch this video, you see it's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, everything works without any problems. Everything is smooth. So yeah, especially on a virtual machine. Whenever a system runs smooth on a virtual machine, it's pretty much golden. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. 
Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe. If you like the video you just saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, by all means, give it a thumbs down. And that's going to do it for this video. And I'm out.